Hey, hello friends and welcome to Retro Portal Studio and in this video I'm going to be introducing a new tool in the Flutter ShapeMaker toolset and that is a tool to convert SVG to custom paint code. You can see that I've redesigned the website for the Flutter ShapeMaker. In this, rather than directly opening up the ShapeMaker tool, you now have the SVG to custom paint tool, the Flutter ShapeMaker for the web which you can open from here and an option to download the Windows and Mac OS version for the ShapeMaker. There's a lot more that I've planned for the ShapeMaker toolset, so I'll be adding all the updates and help guides to this website. So without further ado, let's take a look at this SVG to custom paint converter. So this tool is just at the bottom of the website. This view SVG converter just gives a smooth transition. In this you have two sections. In the section on the left, you have the option to choose the SVG file or you can directly paste in the SVG code. Once this is done, you just have to click on this get code button and the custom paint code will appear in this section right here. Sounds too good to be true? Let's take a look at this tool for a test run. For this, I have three SVGs right here. This vampire guy is a fairly complex SVG with different tags, paths and properties. So let's take this SVG and convert this to a custom paint code and render in a Flutter app. I'll get back to the shape maker and in this I'll click on the choose SVG file button and I'll select this Vampire Guy SVG. As soon as the file is selected, the code for the SVG file appears in the window below. And this code is nicely formatted. If you want, you can make the changes right here also. But in this case, we don't need to. Now to get the custom paint code, I'll just click on this Get Code button. And in just a few seconds, the custom paint code appears. Now this code has different sections. You can see that there is an import statement, there is the custom paint widget, and there is the code for the custom painter that we have to use in the custom paint. Now to test this code out, I already have a basic Flutter app ready. So what I'll do is I'll click on this copy code button. And now that I have the code, I'll go to the Android Studio. In this basic Flutter app, I only have my home page. And in the build function of this my home page, I have a simple scaffold that has an app bar and a body with a center widget. For now, I'll go below my home page and paste the custom paint code right here. Since I've copied the entire code, I'll go to the top of this code and take the import statement and move this to the top of the file. Now, I'll copy the custom paint code and put this as the child of the center widget and I'll remove these comments. And the only thing that's left to do now is to put in the width and height values. Since this is the responsive version of the code, we only have to put in the width value and with the help of this width, the height will be automatically calculated. So for the width, what I'll do is I'll go up in the build function and I'll remove this size and instead I'll create a new double and I'll name this CP width and put it equal to 500. I'll take this variable and put it for the width. At this point, I'll run the app and since I'm running on web, I'll bring up the browser and in this you can see that we have the ramp guy rendered perfectly. Now, let's test this with some other SVG files. I'll go back to the SVG converter and I'll select another file with this choose SVG file button and this time I'll select this Amy SVG. As soon as the SVG loads, I'll click on this get code button. Now instead of copying the entire code, I'll copy this custom paint code and go back to the app and I'll replace this old custom paint with the new one. For the width, I'll pass in the CP width value and now I'll copy the entire custom painter code. I'll replace the RPS custom painter with the new code and run the app once again. With this, you can see that we have the SVG loaded in the app. And just for comparison, I'll open up the original SVG version in the SVG viewer. You can see that the custom paint version of the SVG loaded in the Flutter app is identical to the original SVG. Now, let's try an SVG with some gradients. This time, I'll first open the SVG in the SVG viewer then copy the code and use it in the SVG converter. I'll open the SVG and here we have the mail inbox app and you can see that this SVG has some complex gradients. I'll copy the code and come back to the Flutter shape maker and I'll replace this code with the code for the mailbox. Now let's get the custom paint code. I'll take the custom paint once again and replace the previous custom paint. I'll pass in the CP width for the width value. Take the custom painter code and back in the app, replace the previous custom painter with the new code. I'll run the app once again and bring back the browser. With this, you can see that mailbox is also rendered precisely as it looked in the original SVG. With this, you have seen the true power of this new SVG to custom paint converter tool. 
and many people have questions on how this is useful instead of directly using SVG in the app. Well, the first reason and the most important in my point of view is that you cannot directly manipulate SVGs from the Flutter code. And when you need something that you can dynamically change from within the app, Custom Paint is the best option. And with this tool, you can easily convert SVGs to Custom Paint code and dynamically alter the code on runtime. Now, since the SVG has many standards, there can be some cases where the custom paint code is not completely accurate. And in that case, feel free to report the bug from this report request form and make sure to attach the relevant SVG file. The support for the SVG text and transform property is coming soon. And I'll try to fix the reported bugs as soon as possible. And if you find the Flutter ShapeMaker tools useful, consider supporting and donating for the regular development of these projects and also consider sharing this tool and Flutter Shape Maker on Twitter, Facebook, and all the other places where you think this will be helpful for the developers. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and consider following me on Twitter for future updates. See you next time. Peace!